Yes, welcome to Car Mechanics Simulator 18, everybody. And here we are, we've snuck off and we're sitting, or standing I should say, in a barn on the outskirts of town and we have found this piece of junk. Well, it's a piece of junk now, but perhaps this could be our very first project in the game. We just click on and check out how much to buy this car. It's 13,608 bucks. We've got 16,597. So, let's do it. Let's buy it. I have no idea. Let's put this in the garage. I have no idea what it's going to cost to actually uh, get this thing up to speed. Let's just have a quick look around here and see whether there might be some parts. Um, we'll grab that. I don't know if that's even for our car, actually. We won't grab that because you've got to buy all this stuff and I don't know what is designed for our car and what isn't designed and I don't even know what this car needs. So I'm not going to go and buy anything. So let's get back to the garage and we can come back to the barns later on and perhaps find the parts that are missing. So I don't know whether this car even blimmin works or what the story with it is, but it looks like a cool project. Look at that. That is an absolute... Actually, this thing here could scrub up quite nicely, I'm, I'm picking. It could be a nice little project so anyway i think the first thing we need to do is take it to the test track well hold on let's just quickly do a overview here has it got an engine yes i should have probably have checked that let's take it to the test track let's see if it will let us take it to the test what am i doing take it to the test track the bolt there's a clip b missing from the car okay well let's throw it up on the hoist move it to the hoist this is pretty exciting getting a brand new car well it's not brand new but you know what I mean new for me my very first car okay clip B holy shit <laughs> check out that engine everybody oh my god this thing is an absolute <laughs> piece of crap Oh jeez, oh look at it, oh my god, okay, clip B, is that on the air filter, I think it could be, maybe it's not, let me have a look, I'm going to go to, let's uh, just exit out of here, no, exit, alright, let's just quickly go to the store, and let's just go to the main shop and find out what a clip B is. Clip B. Oh, I thought it was one. So that must be just for the air filter, is it? Oh, well, hold on, hold on. It needs one, so I might as well buy it. Okay. Uh, assemble mode. Ah, come on, mate. Get it sorted. Get it sorted. All right. Okay, okay, it's missing a few parts here, team. Look at this, it's missing exhaust manifold, a starter motor, it's missing the f uh, radiator fan. I think the clip B, ladies and gentlemen, could be the least of our issues. Ha! <laughs> oh, so where is this clip B supposed to go? And why would it even mention that? I'm going to have to figure that out, guys. It needs spark plug. Let's see if we've got any spare spark plugs. No, we haven't. Okay, guys. Right. I'm just going to cut it here for two seconds. I'm just going to note down all the things that are wrong with this car. And then we can go start hunting for parts. I'll catch you back in a second. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Now, there's three parts missing that I can see through the engine bay at this point. There may be more as we strip down the engine but basically we've got the starter motors missing we've got the exhaust manifold and we've got the radiator fan so we sort of picked those things up before that seems to be the only three things missing but i can tell you this a lot of these parts are absolutely rooted so i think what we're going to do for a start is we're going to completely strip down this car we're going to see whether we might be able to repair some of these parts and then uh, we will take it from there. But I think this is going to be a bit of a long-term job and we may run out of money before 
we actually get this completed, which is completely normal when you go to uh, fix an old car up from what I understand. So let's go ahead, we're going to go and strip this engine right down as far as we can and see what we can uh, uncover. Got the carburetor, look all these parts as you can see are very very rusty and uh, that's certainly not going to help our case whatsoever. Some of them are in okay condition. Okay, let's take the intake manifold off. Look at it. Now, I have done no research whatsoever around uh, buying and selling cars, so I don't even know whether there's actually any money in up doing these cars up and improving them or to what level and what parts I should be replacing to get a return on my investment. But that's half the fun. We're just going to try to figure it out as we go. Look at that V-shaped engine. Absolute beast. So we'll take both these uh, covers off here. And look at the, look some of these you can see. Some of them look in okay, like, okay condition. So that, I mean, obviously this rocket arm here rusted out. That's going to be a problem. If we go into our inventory, we'll look at that rocker arm. And as you can see, it's 14%. But we'll take this one off, which is... Come on, sort it out. If we remove this rocker arm and go back into our inventory, we can see that's 57%. So obviously a bit of a wide range in part condition. Okay, let's strip this baby right down. It'll be in interesting to see what's... Uh, underneath here I think we're going to have to take not just the engine apart but also looks like the transmission is in a bit of a state I think I've got a uh, missing spark plug there by the looks of it or did I take that out before I think I took that out before didn't I we'll get rid of this rocker arm it's quite a fiddly engine this thing Not gonna let it, we've got to take the spark plugs out. Go on, we'll replace those. They won't be in good state of repair. What we're going to probably have to do is we'll get as far as we can get before we need to start looking at. Uh, let's get rid of this. Uh, can't lose a belt. There we go. Take the belt. We'll get as far as we can get before we run out of money, basically. I think that's probably the way to go. I'll be very interested to see which parts. I am actually able to fix. I've used the repair table uh, from time to time. Let's get this radiator off and I'll get it out of the road. Uh, I've used it on a few times and managed to fix a few parts, which has been really handy. It means you don't obviously have to spend the money on fixing up the parts. Let's get rid of this alternator. There's not many parts in here that aren't rusted. Let's get the timing cover off. You're going to need some... Uh, cranks and pulleys to get some of these parts off they look particularly heavy there's no doubt about that power steering gone cam gear hold on timing chain gone and now the cam gear jeez I'll tell you what that cam shaft looks in no okay condition actually Okay, there's something stopping me being able to take the end. Oh, here we go, we've got the push rods. That is what's stopping it. We'll pull these out. Like I said last episode, I'm really glad that it actually shows you what order to put these parts back in. Because imagine you never tried to figure this out yourself. I wonder if on later levels it does that. There we go. Now we can take the head off. Man, there's a ton of bolts. I tell you what, you want to be keeping these all together. It's probably like putting IKEA furniture together. You've got all these screws and bolts left over at the end of it. There we go. Look at that. Actually, the uh, actual pistons look completely fine. And the engine block looks like it's in good, good condition. Right, guys, what I'll do is to save your having to work through this other side of the engine I'll quickly take this uh, side of the engine off and I'll rejoin you once we're into a different part of the car see you soon okay welcome back everybody and uh, 
One thing I noticed on this side of the, of the engine is that the parts are in much better condition. So for some reason uh, one side of the engine was wearing a little bit harder than the other. But the actual engine block, as I mentioned before, is it's got a little bit of rust on it, but it actually looks in not too bad of condition. So that's a positive. It's one of the very few parts that are in a good position. All right, let's take this brake servo off. Yeah, I think this whole front suspension is going to need complete replacement. So what we'll do here is we'll just focus on the engine in the meantime because we can see there's a ton of other stuff. Let's uh, throw the oil drain in underneath. Well, it helps if we actually lift the car, doesn't it? What am I doing? I need to lift this car up. Lift it up. Come on, up, up, up. You know you can have complete confidence when your mechanic can't even use the most basic pieces of equipment. I don't know if there will be any oil in here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's drain the oil first. Is there, where is the... Here we go, the oil drain. Oi. Ah, oh, that's right, I forgot. I forgot everybody, you don't actually have to pull the plug on this thing, you just, hold on, use equipment, nothing came out, ha, <laughs> I just don't think that's a good sign everybody, okay, we'll take the oil pan off, and let's check out what is underneath, let's get the oil filter, now looking under here, it's actually, it's actually looking in pretty good condition. There's a couple of pieces of equipment here that look a, a little bit rusty, namely the crankshaft bearing caps. The actual pistons themselves are looking really good, aren't they? A little bit surprised about that. The crankshaft itself looks like it's in pretty good condition. It's got a little bit of surface rusting but nothing to get too upset about I tell you what I think that is actually in and looking pretty good as I'm craning my head all over the place as I'm as though I am really under this car it's all about full immersion everybody okay I think we've pretty much sorted the engine in terms of pulling everything apart we need to Let's just quickly uh, pull the car down. We'll grab the dipstick, which will confirm these. Okay, it's obstructed because I'm standing underneath it. Ah, oh, this thing is underneath it. Get with the program. Come on, jeez. Okay, let's get this. Uh, we'll get this. Uh, the lift down. We'll just quickly check the dipstick, and we'll see. No oil! Ha! No surprises. Right, let me just quickly do one more quick little look around the engine. Now obviously the gearbox is going to need some attention. But let's focus on the engine itself. And it actually is looking pretty clean there. Okay, right. Next thing guys, repair table. Repair bench in fact. Okay, we've got a few parts here that we're going to able to try to fix. So first of all is our round air filter base. I don't know what happened. There, now we've got our engine head cover. Once again, I don't know what happened. We'll see soon. Repairs. This is our oil pan. Engine head cover again, so that's the other side. Oh, it is definitely working there. See, it went up to 74%. Crankshaft bearing cap. Exhaust manifold, 31. Oh, went up to 71%. Nice. Successful repair. Round air filter cover. I think when you click on it and it just does nothing, it means it didn't work. So now we've got the distributor rotor. Didn't work. Crankshaft bearing cap. Didn't work. Timing cover. Oh, it did work. We went up 53 but that's it. So if we go into our inventory, I think we'll find a lot of the stuff 
just hasn't uh, just hasn't increased at all. Yeah, so there goes that air filter cover. As you can see, it's stayed down at 10%. A few of the other parts did increase though, but as you can see, a lot of these parts are absolutely stuffed. But hey, look, our exhaust manifold, no, don't sell that. We managed to get that up to 100%, which was fantastic. So what happens when you go into the car status? Here we go. Uh, you can see all the different part conditions. I'm not too sure what we would like to get them up to. So where do we start? That is the question. The question is, where do we start? We've got $2,980. I've got a gut feeling that's not going to get us very far, but let's start rebuilding this engine. We're going to rebuild this engine as far as we can, then we'll go and park it in the garage, and we're going to have to do some jobs. So this could be, like I say, a bit of a long-term project, but I'm up for it. I think we should paint this car too. And in the latest patch, I think you've got the car cell on, which I'm pretty sure is where you go and paint your car. So, anyway. Oh, actually, I think we've got a skill point. We have. We've got a skill point. So let's quickly... Uh, tire tread tester. Successful repair chance rates to 65. I should have probably had that on before. Screwing and unscrewing. Electronic meter. Electric computer, but that's not going to help us with this project. Uh, I think what we will do is... Let's get the tire tread tester. We might as well get another piece of equipment there. Uh, I don't know where whether that's an extra part of the workshop or not. Anyway, so what we'll do is we'll go like this and we'll go... So what's the first thing? Well, the engine block. Engine head. Now let's check out our engine head. Oh shit, we're going to... Okay, engine head is what we need. Two engine heads, and we need... Uh, let's check this out, hold on. In our engine head, we need V8OHVs, obviously, and we've got one that's at 38%. No, one that's at 38%, and we've got one that is, uh, is 10%. Okay, engine head. Now, let's figure out how much it is to buy engine heads. I'm picking it's going to be friggin' expensive. Engine head. OHVs. V8. No, 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 no. V8. Here we go. 800 bucks. Okay. Can we salvage one for less than 800 bucks? We'll go and see if there's a barn open. I can't see any barns. Okay. Do we want to spend 800 bucks on a brand new engine head? Hmm. Do we have any choice? Let's just do it. Engine head. V8 OHV. Let's get two of them. Bang. Brand new parts. I'm picking this is not the best way to do it, but... Let's keep things moving. We'll fire in brand new engine head. It's looking good. I suppose, you know, it's all about building your house on a foundation of rock. In other words, good condition engine head will hopefully help the rest of the parts. I think that's complete bullshit, but let's go with it anyway. Right, we might just spend as much money as we've got here, and then we can go barn hunting next time. And we've got a nice looking engine head just about mounted. Okay, so these push rods Valve push rod. Okay, let's check out the condition of those. Valve push rods. Oh, some of them are quite... No. Some of them are in half decent condition, but they're still only 58%. We really want something that's a little bit better condition than that. So, let's check out valve push rods. I've only got $1,300. This could be the last purchase. Push rod. Five bucks. Valve push rods, 16. 16. Bang. Okay, guys, I'll catch you in a second once I've uh, put these in. It could take a while. Okay, everybody, we've got all the valve push rods in there. Now, I think I'll make a rule of 70%. I don't know why. It just seems like a good number. 
70 percent that's what the parts need to be for me to put them in here it's a bit of a trial and error we'll see what happens so intake manifold let's just check out where we are with that we've got the exhaust one of the exhaust manifolds in really good nick it's 100 but the intake manifold hold on right uh no no no, no. what am i doing no no Okay, let's find this. Intake manifold. No. Is okay, 17%. Let's see what we're gonna look at in terms of cost for intake manifold. Oh shit. 210. Well that's not too bad. I think it's a two carb. I'm pretty sure it's two carb it is. I'm just gonna take the risk here, guys. Because I remember this is a two yeah there we go look at that what a guess so we'll get this in here all right now we've got carburetor four barrel carbs uh let's check out the uh, condition of our carburetors uh where are they guys one's 50 one's 42 so we'll definitely need new ones of those four barrel carburetors here we go 150 we need two of those okay i'm definitely pouring money into this car it'll be interesting to see whether i'm going to make anything out of this okay two four barrel carbs bang what am i doing There we go. All right, nice shiny looking carbs. Okay, now our filter base, air filter base. I'm pretty sure this is one of the parts that we managed. Oh no, we did not. We did not. Okay, round air filter base two carb. Seven hundred and ninety dollars left, everybody. Round air filter two carb forty five. Yes, we can do that. And we need to cover yes and we need a filter yes i'll tell you what this we're getting a lot more done on here than i thought we'd be able to afford that's for sure uh, let's add this in okay two car base fire that in there we've got an air filter we'll fire that in there helps if i push the right key to get up put our look at that I tell you what, that engine's starting to look quite nice, isn't it? Look at that, guys. I'm very impressed with this. Nice, shiny air filter. Right. Brake servo. That one there is 38%. So let's, uh, oh, actually, let's stick to the main part of the engine first. I think that's the way to go. Okay, rocker arms. Let's check out our rocker arms. And how many have we got? We've got a ton of them. I don't think how many. We've, it doesn't look like we've got any rocker arms that are that are going to be seventy percent. So how many all up have we got? One, two. Okay, so six, eight, 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 and five is thirteen, and three is sixteen. What a surprise! I could have figured that out probably without needing to go there. So let's do that. Let's uh, rocker arms. We've got $670. I don't know if we're going to be able to afford these. They might, can't be much, surely. 15 bucks. Okay, we can do this. So 16. There we go. $430 left. Okay, guys, I'll fit these and I'll uh, catch you once I've got these fitted. Catch you in a second. Okay, we're back, everybody. And I have fitted. Uh, the rest of those parts on there and what i'm going to do is i went and bought some spark plugs i sold all my parts that i've already fitted and replaced it gave me a few hundred extra dollars in the kitty so i've bought some spark plugs which we are now installing let's get around to the other side of the engine and uh there's eight of these so we'll get those fitted and then okay 
Okay, the engine head cover. V8 OHV. Let's check out these. The engine head cover not looking good there. I'll sell that old one. And head cover. Oh, hold on. Was that first one an A? Oh, was it? Oh, I should have checked. One was A, one was B. I assume that's it's A and B. Yeah, one is A, one is B. No, I don't know how much these are going to be. Let's check it out. This could be where... Engine head cover. Here we go. I oh, know we have got enough for that. So we'll buy cover A and buy cover B. Here we go. How we're looking, guys. We are $327. We're making this go a long way. Okay, mount this head cover. There we go. Beautiful. Eight bolts, ten bolts, in fact. Okay. This is starting to look like a decent engine, that's for sure. Okay, that is head cover A. Now, head cover B. You've got to get it on there. Okay. Done. Okay. Exhaust manifold. I know I've got a good condition on one of these. There we go. Exhaust manifold on. Looking very shiny. It's making... There's got to be another one over this side, surely. There is. Let's check out exhaust manifold, everybody. How much are we looking to pay for this? Is it going to be more than 327? I'm picking it might be. I can't spell. Exhaust manifold. Hold on. Manifold. Exhaust manifold. Exhaust manifold. Where are we, guys? Exhaust manifold. There we go. Oh, 55 bucks. We'll take that. I assume that's the right one. I didn't even check. I should have. That was beautiful. Okay. Jeez, I'll tell you what. $272, guys. Okay, we've got an we've got a fuel filter and an ignition coil. Fuel filter. Now, we know that that's not going to be too much. Boom. Ignition coil. Oh, was that a coil B? I think it was, wasn't it? Bang that. $142 left. It was ignition coil B, you little ripper. And our fuel filter. Done. I could have gone searched out old parts, I'm sure. I'm sure I should have been a little bit more patient. 142 bucks. So we've got an alternator. Let's see if we can buy the alternator, everybody. If we can buy the alternator, I think this could almost be us. $200. We aren't getting there. What else have we got, guys? We have got... Starter V8. That could be... Oh, I don't know. Starter. Starter V8. Here we go. $95. This will be the last purchase... Here we go. Oh, I've got to put it up on the lifter. All right, guys, we are getting there. We are getting there. Starter. Here it is, right in front of us. Get that on there. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Your patience has sort of been rewarded. We are starting to put together a very nice looking engine. Not that you can see it from that angle. There it is there. A nice shiny looking engine that hopefully has been a good investment. We're going to find out pretty soon. It's probably going to take two or three episodes to get this project car up to scratch. So in the background, I'll go and do a ton of jobs. We'll get that money up. I'll go and hunt for some parts out there. Hopefully I can find some good parts. And 
next episode hopefully we can progress our little project here and get it to a point where we can uh, perhaps get it into the paint shop and then put it on the auction box so i want to say a huge thanks very much for watching smash the like button down below make sure you subscribe it costs nothing at all except a little bit of self-respect and until next time take it easy